Hello all my video friends here on YouTube. I've had an amazing season on the tomatoes and I have somewhat of a glut. So, with all these ones ready to go and some still ripening or green on the vine, I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic and energy efficient soup. Okay, a nice tomato soup. I'm going to use my trusty ninja, doo -doo -doo, the foodie max and my slow cooker. Now, strictly speaking, I could get away without using the Foodie Max. However, there's two reasons for it. Okay, first off, I want to roast the tomatoes and the garlic so I get a better, sort of um, richer flavour. Secondly, so I take some of the moisture out. There's actually another reason as well, and that's so that it'll all be hot when I put it into the um, slow cooker so that it uh, starts working a bit quicker anyway i'll get started and crack on and come back to you in a minute so there we go we loaded up with tomatoes now i want to get some of the moisture out okay i want the lid to go down nice so what we want to do now is just give them a bit of a squeeze a squash and a squeeze i think i got that from a kid's book right and that will help okay and that will help to cook them through and all the rest of it now i'm also going to chuck in very important the garlic and normally i put normal um Onion. I haven't got a normal onion at the moment, so I'm going for some of my glut of spring onions that I've got kicking around. And finally, I love a bit of red pepper in it. So once I've got this all squashed down, I'll be chucking in me garlic, like so. Plenty of garlic, so we want lots of garlic. And the peppers. Give it another squeeze. All right. There we go. Get from down there. And then I'll be switching on this. Obviously, they're thin and small. They're going to go in mm, last few minutes or so. There we go. That's all done. That's made my machine even more minging. Clockwork orange. Clockwork orange. Clockwork bloody tomato. Right. Let's uh, get on. So switch it on. Switch it on. Roast. Roast. Okay. We're going to stick it at the normal standard 180 degrees, 25 minutes. Hit start. Keep checking back. Give it 10 minutes and check. Obviously, I've got to open the lid when it when it beeps, so you're sticking in. But keep checking back and get it where you want it. Might need the full 25 minutes. Might need longer. Might be done in 15. Who knows? Food. So it's already had a little bit of cooking time. Down we go. Ping! 25 starts now. Obviously, if I'm going to be using my slow cooker, I ain't going to be having this for lunch. So... <sighs> I don't know why I'm bothering though, because this is still the best tomato soup money can buy. Seven and a half minutes gone. Nowhere near ready for turning. Thirteen minutes, there you go. Let's whack these onions in. Get a bit of flavour in them, shall we? Bang! Lovely. Now I'm going to mash it up a bit. Yeah, you may have noticed there's a bit of cucumber in there. That was in the fridge. I thought, well, why not stick that in? You know, not going to use it in the next couple of days. So it gets nice, nicely mashed up. Right, bit of a whiz as well. Get that garlic all chopped up on onions. Finish that off in a second. Next thing, bit of red wine vinegar in there. Just a splash. And then I'll get some salt and pepper in and that'll be ready to rock. Now it's starting to look a bit like soup. So stick that on. Stick it on for high. And I'll leave that for a while. You can see by the state of my slow cooker that I am a real life cooking person. Pot's bubbling away nicely. Smelling gorgeous. It's been on about an hour. It's all cooked up so I've just turned that to low. That can stay on now for a good few hours. Well, it's a good few hours now. I past seven at night. Such a pity you guys can't smell this, but mm, look at that. Absolute gorgeous. So we give that a good old mix around. Just bubbling away nice and switch that off. Out of the wall. Lovely. Got to go through the blender as yet. But that tomorrow is going to be a delicious lunch. Thank you very much. 
Oh, as for cost, it's about six pence an hour. So if I switch it off, it'll drop to three.